Melbourne Town Hall and other Australian landmarks have been lit up in blue and green tonight to raise awareness of one of the world's most common genetic conditions. Every few days in Australia, a baby is born with neurofibromatosis. At its worst, the condition can lead to chronic pain, brain tumours and hearing and vision loss. And a diagnosis can cause huge uncertainty for patients and their families. Three-year-old Jack always tries his best to keep up with his sister. Go! Go! Oh, almost! Well done. But he hasn't always been able to. He was born with a bowed leg, a rare symptom of his neurofibromatosis diagnosis. We don't know what we're faced each day. I guess the way we dealt with it was just gathering as much information as we could. NF is a genetic disorder which causes tumours on nerve tissue. The most common is called NF1. Its symptoms are most often visible lumps or coffee-coloured marks. There's no cure and everyone's experiences with it varies. NF1 is associated with a number of neurodevelopmental disorders such as um, learning disability which occurs in about 70% of patients. Most people with NF1 live normal lives with few medical problems, but there are risk of medical complications if left undiagnosed. For Jack, that means constant checkups and regular operations until he's an adult. And any contact sport is out of the question. But most who get a diagnosis are simply told to watch and wait. Which, as you can expect, for parents of young children who have just been diagnosed, that's a really, really hard thing to hear because it means that they're kind of left in limbo land and it kind of feels like they're living with a ticking time bomb. Earlier this year, the federal government committed $8 million for research and advocacy into the disease. Oh, a move that may, in the future, give families like Jack's more certainty. Tasha Wibawa, ABC News.